Hi, this is Jordan Fisher. I'm the principal and managing broker of Good Bones Properties, and today I have with me Dana Castro of Legacy Lending, mm -hmm. and we're going to talk about uh, the kind of different loans so you better understand uh, what kind of loan you need for the house you're going to buy. So let's let, let's start there. So okay. We well, that's a pretty big question. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, let's say that um, you're a first-time home buyer and um, you're going through the process for the very first time and you don't have a lot of money down and you don't have you know really great credit but your credit's you know not poor so let's say your credit's about a 640 um, that would be an example where FHA financing might make some sense because you can get in with as little as three and a half percent down and you can get financing with that type of credit score now on FHA you will have two kinds of PMI which are which is private mortgage insurance the first is the upfront PMI, which they charge 1%, which does get rolled into the loan so that you as a borrower don't have to pay that out of pocket. And you will also have the monthly private mortgage insurance, which will be included in your monthly payment, and you'll be paying it every month uh, for a minimum of five years. And the reason you have PMI, if you put less than 20% down on a property, you're going to have PMI, exactly, okay. regardless of what kind of loan you get, whether it's FHA or conventional, if you put less than 20, it requires PMI. Um, the only exception to that is um, VA loans and CalVet loans. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 3.5% down gets you in a house. Right. Uh, rates are still very competitive? Rates are very competitive. We're okay. still in the low fours. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So they're not really losing out on rates too much with a, with a FHA versus conventional loan. They just have other payments of PMI to pay. Right, exactly. Um, there can be sometimes differences in rates between conventional um, and FHA, but it depends on you know each individual situation. Okay. Typically with conventional, they'll need to have a little bit better credit um, and a little bit more money down. They can put as little as 5% down on conventional, but then you'll also have the PMI required. With 20% down conventional, there is no PMI. If you did put 20% down though on FHA, you would have PMI. Oh, right. okay. okay. Are there any other kinds of loans that people typically use besides conventional and FHA, VA? Um, VA, yeah, right. for, for um, veteran, right? yeah, exactly. Okay. For um, veterans, I mean, it's the greatest loan you can get if you can use a VA loan. Um, it literally requires no down payment. Um, they are more flexible in terms of credit as well. And um, the other thing with VA is that the seller or somebody besides the buyer is going to have to pay some of the closing costs. So in this market where the housing market is depressed, what do you think for, for most people, if they can afford, do you always recommend, if they can afford more than 3.5% down that they do that? Or does it really matter on the situation? Or I'm just wondering if someone who can afford 20% down, mm -hmm. do those people sometimes still get FHA loans? Um, with people that are putting... Who, who can afford to more, put 20% down? Or yes, is it really just um, if you can't afford it? Yeah, most of the time it's either people that have lower credit or are putting less money down where the FHA makes sense or their ratios are higher, meaning they're going to use more of their income towards their housing, their monthly housing payments, then we go FHA because they allow higher ratios than conventional. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Those are different kinds of loans. Of it is a little confusing, <laughs> but uh, that's why you need someone like Dana, a professional, to really help you through this and better understand what kind of loan best suits your situation for whatever your kind of house you're buying. Right, right. right. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Anna. you. Thanks for having me. Sure.